time, whatever time it is. Date. Whatever date you want it to be. I don't care. I've been looking for the perfect tight lens for my photo exhibit with the Pentax 6-7. I've been having a hard time finding it. I thought the 105 was a good match, but I wanted something even tighter. I did some research and found out about a 165 millimeter. Looked at some reference pictures and saw this may be what I needed. I got it at a good price. There was a sale going on for the lens, but I missed it. Damn it. The seller was cool, though. He gave me 10% off. Hell yeah. I'm on a budget. It came to the house quick, like almost the same day. Of course it didn't come like this, but that's my store, so yeah. I knew I had to shoot with it to see if it was a good fit for the exhibit. I hit up Kirsten for a test shoot, and she was up for it. I booked the studio, pulled up. I ain't got footage of that though, so y'all just gotta watch me unroll this backdrop. Good and slow. I set up the equipment per usual with the aperture lights. I left one of my domes so I had to improvise with what I had in the bag, a standard reflector. Now I have the dome of the 300D and a reflector on the 120D. Wasn't sure how it turned out. The shoot went good though. Kirsa was fun to work with. Good vibes and fast times. Had to work fast because the studio was on the book for an hour. Again, I'm on a budget. Once I got them developing a scandal. I saw just how good they were. Fire. Just fire. I don't know if it was the colors, the lens, or just the way I shot it. Either way, I'm 100% satisfied with how they came out. Oh, and I shot this on the Fujifilm XH2S. Suck it. What's up, people? My name is Trent Still, aka Father Diff. You can go ahead and subscribe to me right now. I really appreciate it. But uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed that intro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying something different. Um, I want to get a little bit more comfortable shooting more cinematic stuff. So that's that. Um, but we're here for the Pentax 165. So that lens is a really, really good lens. It was exactly what I was looking for as far as the tightness. I wanted something that was tighter as far as my portraits. And this lens gives me exactly that, especially with the Buka. Um, the 105 was cool, but it wasn't giving me what I wanted. I don't know, it just didn't look right to me. It was a personal preference thing. And I wanted something that was gonna be able to give me that really, really tightness for my subject. And that's what it did, especially with this picture right here. I really, really loved it. Of course, I have to back up a little bit further from my subject, but I'm fine with that. Um, I know you guys are probably wondering, well, when am I gonna see all of the pictures? I'm gonna show you guys, just, just hold on. I have another video clip that I wanna show you guys and then you'll see the pictures. But um, yeah, the Pentax 165 is a really, really great lens for medium format film photography. This was shot with the Fujifilm uh, Pro 400 film stock. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into the behind the scenes, which is more so uh, another cinematic thing of me just shooting around, you know, getting a feel for how I maneuver, how things just flow through the whole shoot. And then you'll see the pictures and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Yeah. Deeper they did, the blacker my earth think They 
tryna hide my actual worth I don't need no cap, I'm living my truth I broke through the ceiling, my feet on the roof Uh, blacker the berry, more drippy your juice Ding, they tryna hide your actual roots I black out the window and back on my coupe I don't need no theories, I'm actual proof Uh, much is already chipped the hardest Yeah, I felt like the greatest, I'm the carter to my peers I know that the faith will take me farther than the fear Tryna keep the family first the father of the year Gold on top, got the panties on trickle Got these sour n- tryna put me in a pickle Picking on a poet, probably thinking that it's sweet Even Jesus kick it with them n- from the street Show them that you never needed college for the wealth okay. All a n- really need is knowledge of the self Vintage from Asia, you won't find it on the shelf Get the money, disregard a harlot for your health Drop a little henny all right, so yeah, again, hope y'all enjoyed it. So my personal favorite one is this one right here specifically. This lens does exactly what I needed to do as far as that tightness and that bokeh and everything else, as far as what I expected. You know, my photo exhibit is going to be a really, really specific look that I'm looking for. And I think this lens, I, well, I know this lens is gonna be exactly what I need it to be. Um, I, I don't really care about like specs of it all, all that I don't. I just care about can it give me what I want as far as visually and it's doing that. So the 165 for the Pentax 67 is probably my favorite lens for this camera. Actually it is my favorite lens for this camera. So yeah, which one of these pictures was your favorite? Do you guys think the 165 for the Pentax is a really good idea to shoot with? What are you guys shooting with as far as portraits? And again, if you like all the cinematic stuff I put in this, let me know if you didn't. Let me know. I know people like to express their opinions a little bit more than what I kind of want sometimes or care for, but hey, we all entitled to them, but just know I, I'll say something back too. <laughs> so yeah, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.